Right, it's about that time of year where April Fool's stuff is in speculation and is definitely in full swing. G'day, I'm Ash. I hope you're all doing fantastically well. Yep, that time of year again. I believe I made a video around this time last year. I think it was like the 27th of March. And where we just talk a little bit about what my predictions would be for the future event of that of April Fool's. Now, last year threw us a bit of a curveball. It was the Space Gunner sort of stuff. The year previously, we had UFOs and so on and so forth. And keep in mind that everything that I mentioned in this video is purely speculation. However, there is no real end. Could it be that we get a TOG 2 in the game? Could it be that we could get the Bob Samples running around? Could we get World War 1 aircraft? It doesn't necessarily end there. The theories are endless. And to that degree, I would heed caution as we're only about two weeks away. So we'll know uh, in due time whether or not something is particularly happening. That being said, though, background footage is going to be a mix of gameplay events that I have at least taken part in. There are a few events that I have missed over the years, but I have basically seen them all over the eight-year period that I have been playing War Thunder. And so far, this is the only thing that I have noticed pop up recently. Someone alerted me to the fact that on ArtStation, there was a guy who makes War Thunder official art and recently uploaded this. Now, let's talk about this particular image in its detail before we go any further. Enhance! Okay, there we go. What we have here is a scene of a C-130 transport aircraft, or it could be a gunship actually, that is being shot down uh, by two unknown adversaries. Now, they are two Russian jets, they all have their missiles underneath their racks, and these, of course, are the legendary uh, Su-27. Obviously, underneath the pylons, there's R-73s and R-27s. Two missile types which, if added, could cause issues because they are beyond visual range infrared missiles. If for whatever reason it were actually to be April Fools, i.e. players in modern jets to intercept AI cargo planes, it would predominantly be to test better missile technology. But what throws a spanner in the works is that this aircraft and this particular picture was found on the forums, on the War Thunder forums, from about 2015. Now, it and its own post actually did disappear as well, so circumstances around this whole entire picture is a bit iffy. Whether or not we actually get that, who knows? But the main cliche here is that both images have been removed from ArtStation and from the forums. And the takeaway is that something is particularly interesting with this. Have a look on the rest of the website, there are indications of which, particularly, that they have other models of, and other different particular assets here. For example, the boys on the, on the top there, and that naval cannon, which we have seen, I believe, in one of the other maps. Not entirely sure as of yet. What it means, who necessarily knows, but there are more to it, and there are a few other interesting things to pick out here. For example, this little helicopter here. I have no idea what its purpose is other than to evacuate medical troops, whether or not it be a static asset or not, is up to debate, but there is a huge amount of things uh, laying around and you can basically type up any sort of 3D model if you want of any type of aircraft, ship or tank you want, and you can find results online pretty easily, so whether this is doctored or not is a complete other story. As you can see here there are quite a few different results, most of which we've already seen and actually have in the game currently. Um, unfortunately, like that leak a few years ago, which was on DeviantArt, there hasn't been another one of these since. Obviously here is looking at the early version of the TU-95A, but again, nothing really spectacular about this machine at all. Although, it could be an April Fool's, you never know. So whether or not we see Cold War bombers is another subject altogether. Preferably I wouldn't want one, but hey, I don't know, we could. Anyway, there's also this weird Japanese looking ship. I have no idea what this is for, but it's quirky nonetheless, and I thought I'd better show it off here. The other theories revolve around World War One. I. I don't know how feasible World War One would be. No one really would want to go back to playing very slow, very flimsy aircraft. No one would bother to unlock those types of aircraft either, let alone tanks. You've got A7V, the Boiter Panzers. Um, and obviously some of the captured sort of stuff, as well as your FT-17 and your, your Mark V, your Mark IV, etc. I don't necessarily know that anyone would play a World War I mode. Aside from it being particularly fun for a little while, it wouldn't really fit Garjan's motive of doing testing, and I really think that is a, a dissatisfying 
thing here. Ever since the Golden Hind event a few years back in 2016, we haven't really had another game mode dedicated to actually having just a bunch of fun. It's always been a testing ground for some new mechanical technology. It would be nice if we could go and play old events again. It'd be nice to play the ponies, it'd be nice to play with Gargilla, maybe some of the walker tanks, or maybe even some of the inflatable tanks as well. Now, but we, they did do a period of testing last year where they did bring back naval, but no one really wants to play the submarines. Although, could it be World War II submarines? Who knows? Or could it be that we could be getting this thing? Nope, the TOG-2 is not on the list, I can tell you that much. This is actually a user model and is completely fake as far as I know. So, what do you think would be interesting to see for an April Fool's event type? I hope for the 10 year anniversary that they actually go ahead and do a massive event where they combine all of the 10 years events and put them into one massive sort of uh, marathon, so to speak. So at least we can go and play the last 10 years of April Fool's events, that'd be fantastic. But again, Taking jabs at wargaming was particularly interesting with the advanced camera mode and obviously the bicycles and so on and so forth. If you want to see a rundown of the history of some of the events, then I highly recommend you check out the link in the description. It links to another video by a fantastic chap called Zoltan. Uh, Sultan. And having a peruse in the community development kit allowed us to see some of the items which haven't been necessarily used in War Thunder yet. There was this suspicious looking package that appeared, which has been removed. It was on the dev server previously, but essentially what it was is a cargo pallet or slash crate that could be airdropped. Whatever that could mean, could that mean the D point is coming back to the game? And the irony of the Leopard 2A6 and the T90 was the fact that their battle ratings were 14.0 and 14.3 and, and respectively. Obviously the helicopters were another feature of this particular April Fool's event, as well as the Middle Eastern map which this thing sits on, but no one really cares about that. <laughs> Balance wise, it's a bit of a joke nowadays. Anyway, let's not get into that, that's a separate subject altogether. The worst thing that they could possibly do for April Fool's is essentially basically give us another crafting event. I certainly hope that that is not the case. Obviously in 2017 they gave us the Buildathon Tiger and they also gave us the P63 which were unique skins and they were premiums. But still, in that mindset alone, it would not be particularly too fun at all. <laughs> At least considering that nobody really likes those crafting events anyway, aside from people who manipulate the market. Besides, other events could probably indicate maybe a different game mode, although Galgen has a proven track record of not being able to make decent game modes as a whole and has to rely on the players to make them in custom missions. Look at Weeby's Battle of Britain, for example, on hosted on Fly Daily's channel. But there also could be a number of other things. There might be some like mini games, like some card games or some sort of thing that they implement into the actual game itself that would be different, like a game of War Thunder Chess. I don't know, it could be the complete, utterly most boring backwater kind of thing, but it would still be more interesting than the submarine event at least. Honestly, I think that the Ponies event was probably the best event that War Thunder had. Second to the Golden Hind event with the Naval, that was pretty fun and interesting. I'd say all the other events have been pretty mediocre since then, but my final prediction for what is probably going to come to this year is most likely some sort of test on beyond visual range missiles. It's inevitable, that is the future of aviation. Rank 7 is supposed to be coming this year, apparently, and we can all admit that the best thing War Thunder does is its April Fool's events. They're probably one of the best in at least the gaming community in a sense of April Fool's events for a lot of other games. But it will be interesting to watch and watch the space around Gaijin Entertainment as their other developments like Enlisted, Cross Out, Star Conflict, etc. have their own type of April Fool's events. And it'll be interesting to see and don't worry I'll be covering those as well as the War Thunder event here on the channel. Now, that's it. That's really it for the video. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed this one. This is a short sort of prediction video. I don't necessarily know. What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And what was the best event in your opinion over the last eight years? Other than that, I mean, the, the, the possibilities are endless. World of One tanks, World of One aircraft, bigger ships, that being battleships and frigates and so on and so forth. Maybe we get World War II submarines or... Maybe even something that is a little faster paced, like for example, rank 7 jets. That'd be my best guess and I certainly hope to see that. Anyway, 
I know this video could have been condensed into about five minutes, but nevertheless, it's interesting to discuss all the other options. Aside from that, I don't really have much else to say, so go do yourself a favor and go watch another video or something like that. My name is Ash. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one. Right, cheerio.